beautiful. That's uh, <clears throat> I mean, it feels like the UFC should have some fucking power. That's what right? I'm saying. Can yeah, we can we still want to make some make calls? Some calls, take somebody else. Get my dinner. boy Meek so, into the yeah, goddamn yeah. states. Unrelated, but also news. What is this? Oh, we have tried to get this. Uh, uh, Shane Carwin retired. Oh, uh, wow. It seems like there are no in, no interesting fights, and I'm not getting younger. Let me explain. Let me just lay my gloves down right here on. Oh, uh, he did it on Reddit. Mm. Wow. Like an hour ago. Wait, why is he done though? Thank you to each and every one of you. It's odd to be healthy and unable to compete. Yet able to compete when so unhealthy. I guess we end. I don't know what that means. I think he made a mistake there. With never. Oh, I guess we end with never knowing what could have been. Somber would be the best way to describe the emotion. Thank you all for the love, the insults, and the great times. I will sink back into the mode of being a Redditor and my quest to become a mod here. Are you serious? He's sort of making a little joke there. <clears throat> I am also on the hunt for a large fedora. <laughs> I'm like an eight and a half in hats. Yeah. Eight and a half my ass, Shane. <laughs> Seriously, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being, an ama- for being amazing and for making this sport amazing. I thought he was retired. I and then I thought like, he was coming back out to try and fight. Did Bellator just tell him no or something? I thought he was in that, right? Yeah, I think he, he just put his name in the hat. He just called out Mitrione. He just, literally, like two days ago, he just said he wanted to fight. As the ultimate. Well, here's what it's weird. It says it's odd to be healthy and unable to compete, yet able to compete when so unhealthy. I mean, how, it's odd that he's healthy now and he can't get a fight. Did they? That means the commissioner, maybe someone told him he can't fight, or maybe Bellator was like, no, nah, we're good, son. Well, I wouldn't ever say he couldn't fight in terms of like the punishment he's taken. I mean, it was like the Junior Dos Santos fight was tough to watch. That was a tough one. That was a tough one to watch. He's had some tough fights, but, I mean, a lot of guys have. If, if you're going to let Oberyn fight how could you not let Shane Carwin fight unless it's like the spinal surgery stuff yeah I'm, I'm not sure what's going on that but but also he could fight in Ryzen I would imagine that they would take They'll clear him, but, anybody but you know that they had an issue with him where he was getting divorced and he had some personal issues apparently they were saying yeah and he had to pull out of their tournament remember yeah he had and, that fight and they were very upset giant. They they were very upset at him. Oh, that he backed out. Yeah, and they said they said some things about him, you know, not having warrior spirit or some oh, crazy shit like that. For sure, relax, rising shit happens. <sighs> yeah, I mean, not only that, you don't even have so many fucking heavyweights. Yeah, you're also rising, so let's relax and, and have Shane Carwin back though. Have Shane Carwin over there and let him go crazy. Him pro cop. Wild West. Take that, Golden Snitch. Yeah, just full on Mexican. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let the party roll. Let's mix it up. Especially, I mean, Shane's in his 40s, right? How old is Shane? Hell yeah, he's in his 40s. Yeah. yeah. Let it roll. Let it roll. Ryzen's the spot. I mean, look, we should have a steroid league. We should have a league where some people are not. Daniel Cormier says, for, faces Volkan Ozdemir at UFC 220 in Boston. Ooh. Six minutes ago. Ooh, uh, ooh wow. Breaking news, folks. Breaking news. Ozdemir's scary, but there's a, there's a guy who's got the quickest rise to the top ever. This is my face for that fight. You don't care? Mm. I care. I'm lukewarm on it. With Ozdemir, I love DC. I love. I love DC. DC, and I wish he was a bigger star, and he should be a bigger star. And I, but I, you know, he's gonna be phenomenal as a commentator, and I think he flies through Ozdemir. Do you really? Yes, easily. I think Ozdemir's dangerous for anybody, man. Anybody. Good luck dealing with DC when he gets you in it's that true. clinch. It's true. It's true. DC's, DC's the a best monster. light heavyweight of all time, not named John Jones. Whoa. Strong words. Who's better? Nobody. He was the heavyweight after champion. He rumbled twice. Yeah. He rumbled twice, beat Gustafson. He was Won the heavyweight the champion. Force Grand Prix. And that, yeah. Think about the people in that Grand Prix. Yeah. Remember we did to Josh Barnett? Oh, Granted, yeah. Josh Barnett had a broken hand, but. Threw him up in the air. Remember we did to poor Dan Henderson? How? By I the do. way, DC, how dare you treat our legend like that? <laughs> how dare you take an old weather Dan Henderson, spike him on his head, you he son of a bitch? Him. I mean, he ragged all I love DC, man. I, I like that fight for DC. I'm an uh, Ozdemir fan. I think it'd be hilarious if he's champ because he has 700 Twitter followers. But I think <laughs> that DC is going to mop the floor with him. Interesting. Unless it's a bar in Florida, then it's a different story. I'm just interested in seeing what happens if um, if he gets hit, because Ozdemir is very fast and hits very hard and has a shocking reaction. Dude, when, DC's when been hit, hit him, hard. Oh, for sure. Rumble rocked Rumble him. Rocked him. Rocked the rock. Hit him with that overhand right in the first fight and head kicked him in the second. Fight. Yeah, remember he sat yeah. him down. Yep. DC popped up. Yeah. No, DC's a monster, no doubt. 
I'm just interested because I think Ozdemir really does have special power. You, you, you see him hit people, you're like, Jesus. And according to everybody that watched him and Rumble train, like he was the guy that trained with Rumble all the time. He's one of the few guys that wanted to spar with and Rumble. And what they say about it? So they went to war. Really? Yeah. I'd watch that. I would watch that. I would watch Dude, that. Dude, how they about this? They said that's one this? of the reasons why Ozdemir is so good. So the Ozdemir was like trained with Rumble. He was like, everybody's scared of Rumble. How did, how, not be scared of Rumble? How did they not just knock each other out every day? I think they're smart. They, they hit each other just hard enough to like let each other know they're hitting each other. And look, you want a valuable sparring partner. I mean, if Don't you, break your toys. Yeah. Look, it's benefiting the both of them, Dude, obviously. here's one for you. Ooh. How about Rumble wants to come back at heavyweight? Rumble Stipe for the curveball. Here's the thing. You can't really do that because he just fought as a light heavyweight and then quit and said, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, and then he comes back. back and fights at a heavyweight. Yeah, he's back, bro. <sighs> he said he doesn't like fighting. Says I don't like getting hit. He doesn't yeah, like that's, wrestling, that's sweaty a bit of men. An issue. What do you say? I don't like fighting, but I'm yeah. back. I mean, what happened was like that first retirement of all, life ain't fun, is it? It's not. It's boring, right? And that it was, depends who you are. Mike's great. And he knows he could be champion too. Like he really does have championship skills. You know, I mean, he's got now he does for yeah. sure. He well, un unquestionably has enough power to knock out any human being. If, on the D if DC and John Jones are out. Yeah, he's he's the guy. If DC got hit with that uppercut that Glover got hit with, he goes night night too. That's in, so with John Jones. Night, night. But those guys are too night, smart night. for that. Right? They don't fight right. that style. They well, they didn't. Yeah, Glover was too easy to hit for him. But I think he realizes that anybody in the world. I mean, he literally he might doesn't have a hundred percent chance to beat anybody in the world. But he might have. Have you No, though? no, 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 not a hundred percent chance to beat no, no. anybody in the world. But I'm saying. He might have like a sixty percent chance. Like in any fight with anybody, he could connect with a bomb and put your fucking lights out. He's that powerful. So that alone in his head means like if he fought John Jones sixty percent of the time, he might be able to catch John Jones. It might be. Yeah. If he caught John Jones or anybody, he hits so fucking hard. But he definitely froze up against DC, and in the second fight, he did not look like a guy who was there to do or die. Did he hit that pad that they keep? Jacking yeah. off to? Did he hit the pad? I would like to see that. I'd like to see that. At, you think but, he hits harder than Ngannou? <sighs> Ngannou's a lot bigger than him, man. Yeah, but Anthony Johnson, I feel a lot more, he's more explosive. Especially, when you you put Anthony Johnson on that healthy diet, and he's the 240 Anthony Johnson, Yeah, he's going to hit like a Mack truck. Be very interesting to see him Dude, at heavyweight. Francis Rumble Johnson, no! black on black power. No! Kaepernick no. could show up for that bitch. You gotta, it would be Rumble's got to have ridiculous. a fight in heavyweight. A nah, fight. It's just toss him. Oh, my God. He's ready to go. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No, you get him that Russian dude that likes to choke people. <laughs> 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 Who lets people in mouth no, and he chokes so He's a light heavyweight. No, he's a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. I'm, right. I'm right. Yeah, yeah you, you, you beat be be Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, yeah. Him that, yeah that, give him that guy. Give him that poor soul. <laughs> the, the Russian has no idea. I fight black men and just fucking get starched. <gasps> yeah, that would be interesting. That's an interesting My fight. My God, it's fucked what up happens. to that guy. It's, I want to see what happens. Give him that guy. Give him that guy. <laughs> Give him somebody who's, you know... Give him the guy that encourages mount so he can get a choke. The guy's going to come after him. The oh. guy's going to come after him. Alexi Olenek. Yes, yeah. powerful Alexi. Yeah. Deep in his 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Same hairline as Brian Callen. Dude, 52 and 11. He's been through the fucking the works. Ringer. He's an you think animal. he gives a fuck about no. how hard Rumble hits? No, he'll take that fight. You know, like a dick fight. All day, a day the on two-day notice. Fucking right, the boa. He's, yeah, that would be a fun fight. He might be my hip. For heavyweight, heavyweight, man, who the fuck knows? What if he gets rumbled down? What if he gets rumbled down? We see him in side mount working on a rear naked <laughs> choke from the side. Yeah, Rumble's in trouble, that motherfucker. Oh, he gets a hold of your neck? Rumble's in trouble if you get mount on him, man. He, that guy's a monster. <laughs> He's a monster from the bottom, isn't he? I'm sure. He yeah. choked that dude out from his back. Yeah, it's Mounted. Great. He gave it to him. Crazy. Cry yeah, he's a he's a squeezer. There's certain dudes that just can squeeze your neck in a way. Nah, Rumble in the first round might be the most dangerous man Ooh. in the world. Yeah. Wonder, maybe, look, I mean, I don't know how much weight he was cut to make 205, but if he's really walking around at 230, 235, and that doesn't have to cut anything, he might be better at heavyweight. So I'm saying let's give him on that punch meter. <laughs> what you got, Francis? Just give him a good fight, a Verdum. Rumble. <gasps> Dude, Verdum, ah, Verdum would kill your dreams, man. <laughs> Verdum's a motherfucker. Verdum's a motherfucker. He is, man. He can strike. Yep. Best on the world on the ground. Mm -hmm. He's huge. Yeah. 
Yeah. You don't give a fuck about the golden snitch because you've never been caught. It doesn't yeah. take anything. Yeah. You get some issues for Doom comes hunting for you. And that jujitsu is just on another planet. Dude, how about how about <laughs> How about when, uh, what fight was that that backed out? Oh, the Black Beast. Remember, you're supposed yeah, to fight Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis. Huge yeah. Derek Lewis fan. We're talking about Derek Lewis' social yeah. media. Oh, is that the best? Might be the best. His fucking, his Instagram For a fighter, page it might is be the best. hilarious. He's hilarious. Hilarious. Shout out to Derek Lewis. Shout out to the Black Beast. You're he hilarious. puts up some hilarious shit on I Instagram. I want him to fight soon. But remember, oh Derek God. Lewis was supposed to fight for Doom, then the like, hours before the fight, like, guy, oh, you can't do it. So they just filled in random homeboy. Yeah. And he was just happy Walt to Harris. be there. Walt Harris. Yeah, Walt Harris just had and no business in there. Fucking Verdum went, got the what? He kicked you. Yeah. Just fucking. It's a beautiful transition when he took his back and then took the arm off the back. It was like he was, was teaching like, his students in Venice yeah. about the arm. I show you how. It was fucking easy. I show you how. Uh, <laughs> it was so easy for him. Uh, there's a payday. Then fights that rush and goes five rounds. Yeah. That's why he won't be ready to fight Stipe in uh, Boston. 